Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dev. I'm a chief medical oncologist and hematologist. Currently working at uh, Medicover Cancer Institute, Visakhapatnam. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic, and commonly, you know, many people get confused. That is the bone marrow transplantation. So whenever we talk about a bone marrow transplantation, people often get, you know, scared. They correlate bone marrow transplantation with uh, kidney transplantation, liver transplantation, heart transplantation. So even though it is transplantation, it is slightly different and completely different from liver transplantation and kidney transplantation. So let us see what are the differences, what exactly bone marrow transplantation means. Does it involve cutting or does it involve, you know, surgeries? Because whenever we say transplant, people they often think that we are going to perform some major surgery on that patient. So bone marrow transplantation is nothing to do with the surgeries. Bone marrow transplantation is a procedure which we are going to discuss now. So before that, uh, bone marrow transplantation, there are two types of, essentially two types of bone marrow transplantation. One is, if you take, collect stem cells from the patient, and give back to the same patient, this is called autologous stem cell transplantation. And if you collect stem cells from a other patient or healthy donor and transfer those stem cells to the patient, then this is called allogenic. From a different person to a patient, it is allogenic. From the patient to patient is autologous. And in allogenic, we have different types of transplants again like a matched sibling allogenic, matched unrelated donor, haploidentical. So there are different types of allogenic transplants. So that is beyond the scope of today's discussion. Now what is this exactly this bone marrow transplantation mean? So in the body, in the bone marrow, we have certain along with the normal cells, progenitor cells, we have something called stem cells. So these are the stem cells we, which differentiate into various cells. Now, we, what we do, we give some injections to increase these stem cells in the body. Then by a machine called, a process called apheresis, it's, it's just like a dialysis machine or just like, you know, blood donation. So we ask the donor, be it patient or be it the uh, healthy donor, we connect to a apheresis machine, we collect the stem cells and then later we store the stem cells. After giving chemo, then we again retransfer these stem cells to the required person. So essentially, Bone marrow transplantation means transfer of stem cells from the donor to the recipient. It does not involve any major surgeries. It does not involve any, you know, cutting or suturing, etc. etc. as expected as we do for liver transplant or kidney transplant. And uh, once we transfer the stem cells, it takes at least 14 days uh, or 10 days to 20 days, depending upon the type of transplant, depending upon the dose of stem cells which you are giving for the bone marrow to recover. So during that phase, patient remains neutropenic. There is a low WBC, low TLC and low platelets. Mm -hmm. So during that phase, we protect the patient from infections. That's why we keep the patient in the bone marrow suit and then treat the patient. So after once the bone marrow recovers, we discharge the patient. So this is a process of bone marrow transplantation. Thank you so much.